Hello everyone, this is a video response to a tag that was started by Beth, who has a channel called B-Side Records, and she did a 10 question tag uh, where it's mainly related to uh, movie soundtracks and things like that, and it's very interesting and I decided to take part in it, so check it out if you're interested in playing along, please do. Okay, um, first question was... What's the first soundtrack you ever bought? Now, I'm trying to leave Beatles out of this as much as I can, but the first soundtrack I can remember buying was A Hard Day's Night, and in particular, it was this kind of early 1970s version, uh, which has a kind of darker red, almost brown top to it. You know, the original from the 60s, the early 60s, has a bright red look to it. So this was my favorite, but I also backed it up with some other items. This was right around that time. Uh, I was a big Planet of the Apes fan, and I remember buying the Jerry Goldsmith soundtrack to the first classic uh, 1968 Planet of the Apes. So that was uh, one of the earliest purchases I remember, and I was a big fan of Jaws also. So the Jaws soundtrack was uh, one of my favorite uh, by, I believe, ooh, I forget, how can I forget his name? Let's check that out. John Williams. <laughs> Sorry, momentary lapse there. Of course, John Williams. And I was also a very big fan of the movie Westworld, not to be confused with that utterly contemptible and confusingly uh, incomprehensible, lousy HBO television series. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I picked up the Westworld soundtrack by Fred Carlin. Those were a, a number of answers to the first question. Those are some first soundtracks. Next, uh, number two is, uh, what's the newest soundtrack you've bought? And I approached that two ways. Well, the most recent movie, the, mo the most recent movie soundtrack I bought and the most recent movie that I bought was just uh, last year, the movie Yesterday that came out. And... Uh, so that's 2019. That's like the newest movie, most recent one. But one of the more recent movies was from the early 2000s, Kill Bill Volume 2, Quentin Tarantino movie, which uh, I really, really enjoy this Kill Bill series, the, the whole saga, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Okay, um... Now we have, what's the soundtrack that you listen to the most? Well... Anybody watching me any length of time knows this is really my favorite soundtrack of all time as well. And I listen to this all the time. I mean, this is one of the most frequently listed, listened to soundtracks ever for me. I, I mean, I play this all the time. Not just soundtrack, but album in general, a CD. I usually play the compact disc in my car. The Omega Man, Ron Grainer, uh, really really fantastic soundtrack it's not for everybody but it's one of those love it or hate it i think soundtracks and i absolutely love it so that's uh the one i definitely listen to the most often in fact as i said you know as far as listening to music in general i think i play that more than anything else just takes me back to the good old days which is so sorrowly needed now number four favorite composer now uh, that's a tough one because, uh, you know, I like individual movies. I mean, there's plenty of scores I love, but on a whole, I'm not sure. But I decided to go with two people. First, I went with Miklos Rosa. Miklos Rosa is the uh, music by him. It's uh, He's the uh, orchestrator. He's the one who did the music. William Wyler is the director. Ben-Hur. William Wyler's Ben-Hur from 1959. Wonderful soundtrack to a wonderful film, breathtaking. Every every sound of it, every frame of the film, the film, perfect. But also, here's a more, you know, offbeat path that I'm going to take now on that same one. Another favorite composer of mine is Hans or Hans Salter. Uh, he's from the old Universal Monster movies. This one here is the movie House of Frankenstein. With Boris Karloff there as the Mad Doctor in this one. Um, and he did a, a lot of the scores for the early Universal films, uh, Ghost of Frankenstein, House of Frankenstein, and others. Um, also have this to show you, which kind of features some of the 
Sorry about the glare here, folks. Not much can be done, unless we take them out of the bags, maybe. Uh, but there it is, some monster music. And there's a picture of Hans Salter right there. So they really add a lot of, uh, I don't know, spice and background and ambiance to the old horror films. Now the next one here is, let's see, number uh, five... Favorite instrumental score. Um, I'm going to go back with the Omega Man that I just showed. That's probably my favorite instrumental score. Uh, now we do number six. What's an awesome movie with a horrible soundtrack? Uh, and that was one that was very, very difficult for me to come up with. I I thought and thought and thought. I, I, it racked my brain for that one to try to find a movie that's really good movie but has a terrible soundtrack. The closest I could come with, and this is stretching it a little bit, was a, a wonderful science fiction movie called The Andromeda Strain. And this is a, an original. This is a hard to find. The original copy of this very awkward disc that's in there that was re-released for Record Store Day, but that's a copy. That's not the original. <laughs> so that's how I feel about it. Composed by, I never know how to say these names, Gil Millet. Now, the problem I have with this is the, the so-called soundtrack just really, really uh, consists of just a lot of electronic sounds and noises and gadgets and things like that, for the most part, which, don't get me wrong, they figure perfectly in the film The Andromeda Strain. They work perfectly within the, the context of the movie, but to listen to it as a listening experience isn't really much. So, that's why I picked that one. It's the closest I could come up with. Now... Okay, number seven, we have, what's a soundtrack that's better than the movie? Okay, well, first one comes to mind, and this is not really a movie, it's more like a television special. The Beatles' Magical Mystery Tour, <laughs> uh, definitely, uh, I think, a, a much better soundtrack than, than film. But I also have one other for that in the same family. I uh, went along with Paul McCartney's Give My Regards to Broad Street. I think the soundtrack, the music to this is much better than the actual movie itself. So, Okay, now we have number eight. Um, what's a song by a favorite artist or a band that was featured on a soundtrack? There are a lot of them uh, for me. Uh, first thing I'll go with here, Joan Jett. I love Joan Jett. And, you know, she's in the movie. She stars in the movie Michael with Michael J. Fox, Light of Day. Uh, but she's got like, I don't know, three songs, three or four songs in here. So that's one. Also, uh, Joan Jett has one song in a really terrible movie, if I remember, called Gotcha. It's from 1985. Uh, I saw it once. And I don't really have the soundtrack to that, but it does appear, the song Gotcha, on this collection here called Flashback. It's a Joan Jett and the Blackhearts flashback. The song Gotcha appears, but I'll show you a photo of the album. Okay, so Gotcha, also with Joan Jett. And let's throw this in for good measure. Uh, George Harrison, uh, the song I Don't Want to Do It. It's featured in this terrible movie, Porky's Revenge. Okay? George Harrison. I don't want to do it. Okay, now we are going to number nine. Um, what's a soundtrack that everyone uh, should have in their collections? I have to go with American Graffiti. Uh, I just think that the, this is a fantastic movie, and uh, even if you don't love the movie, uh, the soundtrack is fantastic. This is uh, all classic 50s, early 60s stuff. I could go on here forever. Rock Around the Clock, Bill Haley, uh, 16 Candles, Del Shannon, uh, The Diamonds, The Beach Boys, Chuck Berry, Big Bopper, uh, Buddy Holly, Fats Domino, you name it. This is a really... Uh, jam-packed soundtrack with some really great oldies on here. So even if you don't see the movie, don't care about the movie, just to have this in your collection means that you have all these great songs by these great artists. So, check it out. Okay, and the last question, number 10, is 
a, a soundtrack grail, grails, plural, soundtrack grails you don't have yet in your collection, but you'd like to get. Now, I can't really think of any of those either. There aren't really any soundtracks that I really want that are grails that I don't have in my collection. But one thing I thought of was this one, Pulp Fiction, uh, that I have on CD. I have it on the on the compact disc but I do not have it on vinyl and uh, I know that it's very uh, possible to get it I mean I've seen it online and stuff I'll, I'll get it eventually but this is a grail that I would like to pick up on a nice vinyl copy so I hope you'll check out Beth's uh, original video uh, B-Side Records uh, I subscribe to her channel I didn't really know that uh, most of her videos are about movie soundtracks, and I think that's an interesting departure from the usual kind of uh, you know, vinyl videos you see around here. So, okay, everybody, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see some of your video responses to this tag.